I'm Dr. Suzanne Farley, Executive Editor of Scientific Reports, an open access journal published by Nature Research. Scientific Reports publishes in all areas of the natural and clinical sciences, and it's been growing fast. We have about 70 staff in our London office, supporting more than 7,000 editorial board members across the globe. Being open access means that all articles published in Scientific Reports can be read by anyone with an internet connection, at any time, at no cost. With over a million article page views per month, researchers who publish in scientific reports can be confident that they're maximising the reach and discoverability of their work. At the heart of the journal is a commitment to the technical quality of the work that we publish. When we receive a new manuscript, our staff check to make sure that it's suitable for peer review. These checks focus on the fundamentals of good research practice such as author contributions and competing interests, ethics approval, clinical trial registration and patient consent. We also check for general readability, image manipulation and plagiarism. Staff don't make any judgments about the potential impact of the work. Once a manuscript has passed the quality check stage, our staff match it to one of our editorial board members. We check that there are no potential conflicts of interest between the board member and the authors, such as them having published extensively together. Once a board member has agreed to handle a manuscript, their first task is to organise peer review. Scientific Reports uses a single blind peer review model, in which the peer reviewers know the names and affiliations of the authors, but the authors won't know the identity of the peer reviewers. This is pretty standard in the sciences. Peer reviewers are instructed to focus on the methodological rigour and reproducibility of the research, on whether the results fully support the conclusions and on the transparency of presentation. Significance and potential impact are not criteria on which we base publication decisions. As long as the paper represents a well-conducted, original contribution to existing knowledge, we don't care if it's sexy. We also feel strongly that publishing neglected study types, such as replications and so-called negative results, is an important part of the role we have in the scientific enterprise. Once the board member has reviewed the peer review reports, they log a decision, accept, reject or revise. Every decision is double-checked by our staff. This is an important step in maintaining consistency among the thousands of board members and peer reviewers who work with us. This decision check stage is also when we look for telltale signs of peer review manipulation, such as fake peer review reports and identity fraud. Most papers submitted to scientific reports undergo at least one round of revision. When a revised version is returned to us, we check it again, and it's usually reassigned to the same editorial board member. Around 60% of submissions to scientific reports are accepted for publication. Once authors sign off their proof, the accepted paper appears on nature.com. But our work doesn't stop once a paper is published. We provide online commenting and real-time metrics, such as citations, downloads, page views and social media mentions, for every paper, as well as indexing in major databases. If a reader brings a serious problem to our attention, we investigate. Thankfully, this happens rarely. In five years, fewer than 0.1% of scientific reports papers have been retracted. So there you have it, a rigorous process which strikes the right balance between rapid and personal service and the quality of feedback and publication output. Open access in action. Mm -hmm.